What on earth are you doing? Whatever it is, I'm guessing you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is the Coast Starlight, one of the great American trains operating on one of the classic American routes. On this side, you'll see panoramic ocean vistas inaccessible to any other form of transportation, while on your side, you'll be treated to 350 miles of Costco's, Jiffy Lubes, and cinder block homes with above ground pools. Come on, Raj. What's wrong with Jiffy Lubes? <laughs> no. Why not? That's over the wheelbase. Are you completely unfamiliar with the suspension characteristics of a pre-1980 Pullman-built Superliner Deluxe passenger coach? Sheldon, we've been on this train 90 seconds and you've already said a thousand words. Just tell us where to sit and shut up. Here. I'm hoping once you reap the endorphic rewards of the steady clickety-clack of steel wheels on polished rails, your sour disposition will abate. Yeah, maybe. Meanwhile, back in the 21st century, people are raising their tray tables and putting their seat backs in an upright position because it's time to land in San Francisco. <laughs> it's not so bad, really. At least these trains have modern plumbing. In India, you squat over a hole in the train and expose your naked buttocks to the chilly air of Rajasthan. <laughs> He is referring, of course, to third class on Indian Railway's magnificent Ranikpur Express and its 1,200-kilometer journey from Maharashtra to the Beaconer Junction. Oh, look, now he's boring on an international scale. 